In April 2009, at the age of 68, Bob Dylan became the oldest artist ever to have an album debut at number one on the Billboard 200 charts. His 33rd album, Together Through Life, also broke the record for the longest gap between solo number ones in the UK. The last time Bob had topped the charts there was back in 1970 with New Morning. The legendary songwriter, poet and painter's love of performing is completely at odds with his obsession with privacy off stage, which has added to the mystique of the barrier-breaking icon who started off singing folk and blues protest songs in New York's Greenwich Village in the early 60s. The political and social content of his songs and disregard for authority earned him his status as a modern-day prophet and songs like Blowing in the Wind, The Times They Are A-Changing and A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall have become anthems. In 2005, Martin Scorsese attempted to capture the many sides of a man who won a Pulitzer Prize for his profound effect on popular music and American culture in a documentary. The learning about Dylan is the constant re recreating of himself, but always staying, always staying in line with the original inspiration to say something has something to say, whether it's about a psychological or emotional state or it's about politics or whatever. And I think it's important in our society today for young people who are becoming artists or budding artists, I should say, to remember it's more important if you have something to say than to make a lot of money. At the premiere of No Direction Home Bob Dylan, fellow film director Jim Jarmusch offered up his tribute. No, I only I met him briefly a few times. I'm just a big fan of one of the greatest visionary songwriters of the last 50 years, so he's just someone in music history that's so valuable. He loves the form so deeply of songwriting. I just kind of wish they could take that myth off of him and all that weight off of him and just let him be a traveling troubadour musician giving us these beautiful songs. Coming in at number two behind the Beatles on Rolling Stone's list of the Immortals, the 100 greatest artists of all time, the man himself remains an enigma due to his reluctance to talk about himself in interviews. But that doesn't stop his peers and fans from trying to define his place in history. Just his uniqueness, you know, is uh, obviously his lyrics and uh, the fact that he's still playing it every day for 300 days a year. Um, he's kind of like a genius gypsy, you know? That's what it is. Yes, he affected the, the rock and roll business a little bit by completely changing it.